everything within. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. He got himself in the far country homesick. Yes, yes. So the second thing he had to do was he found himself bound. He found himself bound by his relationships because mm -hmm. he was the man with the money. Yeah, yeah. Songwriter said, when you've got money, you got a whole lot of friends. Yeah. And they all come crowding around your front door. But when the money's gone, you'll look up and find that you don't have no friends no more. God bless the child that's got his own. He found himself the money man. Everybody wanted to party with him because he was buying. Everybody wanted to come to his apartment because all the barbecue was on him. Yeah, he bought it, he cooked it, he served it. Is everybody happy? He found himself bound by those friends. He, in order to keep them, he had to keep shelling out. How many times have we found ourselves shelling out in order to keep a friend? Just saying. How many times have we found ourselves bound by the relationships that are formed around us and we are the givers and they are the takers? I submit to you if this is something that, that sounds like your life, you are far from home. And you need to go home to Jesus. Jesus is looking for you. Jesus is waiting for you to draw near to him. Oh dishonest man, Jesus is waiting for you. Oh sinner, Jesus is waiting for you to draw near to him. Come out of the far country and come home to Jesus. Yes, yes. Thank you. The third thing he found himself bound by was his own lifestyle. Mm. It is interesting, it is, it is interesting but common in, in, in our day to uh, have to uh, buy a friend or two. But I submit to you that this young man had to actually buy himself as a friend. He had to buy friendship with himself always running up his tab just so that he could feel like somebody. Oh, you know, you know who I'm talking about. It ain't, it ain't you. Just keep looking at me. It ain't, you know, if, it, if it's you, just keep looking at me. Nobody will ever know. But this is the one who runs up massive credit card debt for stuff they don't need just to feel like they're somebody. After a while, if you let that go on, the only thing you're shopping for is the adrenaline rush of shopping. Not that you need it. Not that you even want it. It's the rush of the shop. I submit to you, if that's you, you are far from home. And Jesus is waiting on you to draw near to him. When his money was gone, he, he ran into the problem of diminishing resources. That means if the money that you have is a static amount, and that money does not have a way of replenishing itself, and you keep spending, then eventually you will have no money. That's just kind of common observation. But he had the problem of diminishing returns, meaning eventually he was going to run out of money, and today he did. He, he's done. He has nothing else. And so now he's got 
this lifestyle that he cannot keep up with. He's got friends that have left him because he cannot afford to keep them anymore. And he has 